Right, good afternoon guys. Sorry about the echo, it's because we're pretty much taking shelter in this old, I guess you could turn around and say it's an RAF office block, storage facility, something like that. Very similar to Cywell where we was just over a year ago. We've come to RAF, United States Air Force Base, Spano. Um, see what remains. There is a war monument at the front. We're going to look at that towards the end. But we thought we'd make our way round for the vine creepers, cross the barbed wire, looking around where it's all pretty much derelict and see what we can find. So let's go and do this. Okay guys, we've stepped over this little ornate bit of concrete work, a sort of mocked up bunker area. And we found this shed area. No covering on the door, etc. Don't exactly know what you're gonna find when you go into these places, but there are a few interesting bits for sure. I think it's just like a storage facility. But the way it's been sprayed up is really, really cool. As if someone is playing war games. I'll show you more in detail about that in a bit. Someone's left the spray can behind. Look at the lights up there. And that's the terminus. I guess that means voltage. Very much in the order of look at that die bunker. But it's these things that have got some interest. A bit of paperwork like that. So I'm saying there was some sort of war games going on here back in the day. Who knows? There is a plethora of those just littered around. Loads and loads of them. Just dumped here. I don't for one minute think that they are actual because I think the old sands of time would have played its part and pretty much destroyed them. That does look more 1980s to be honest with you. Two adjoining rooms here. But I think they had like Maybe power servers for the old airbase. They didn't like to keep everything next to each other. We really chose a day for it. We're currently taking refuge away from this horrendous downpour. It's been one of them days where everything kind of bad hits you. Nothing's quite working to plan. What we got here, that's the main thing. This is what would have been part of your base, your barrack area. We've obviously had to climb through an old window frame bit there. This is distinctively Second World War military, that's for sure. As I turn around and said to you guys, I think this is a a mock Second World War play up area, war games type of thing, maybe soft air, maybe even paintball, that sort of kind of thing. This has probably still been abandoned for a long time, they probably don't use it anymore, but you just got them vibes. That's quite creepy down there. Yeah. Does give off the, the same sort of feel, not as good obviously, the Cywell where we've certainly been. There may not be a great deal here guys, but I think the pair of us are just thankful to be away from this rain. You can hear it. It's like a deluge. Kind of thinking that these would have had animals in them at some point it's not hardcore it's earth so strange so what were these something to do with the I don't know officers mess it's no there's no toilet facilities so maybe it's just storage and again, 
someone great with their German writing. Well, they've just got is a spray paint and a stencil and put it up there, but it's very effective. Couple of sandbags down there for good effect. Nav room, very much similar to the ones we've seen. Roofs going in, and this one certainly has an element of air conditioning. That has totally gone. Works, that's workstation, I know that much. The ivy and the creepers slowly taking over this place. It will eventually rip it to shreds. That's the strength that nature has. It gets in amongst all the masonry and brickwork and just expands over time and then everything else just crumbles. Another way of confirming that this is some form of war games place they made it up to be is the fact that this corrugated piece here has been manipulated into place to form that dome. It didn't fall like that, you can see it's propped up. So someone's had some fun here over the years. Said the facilities themselves, more like a, a war games type of area. It's pretty cool. If you're into that sort of thing. Out the back there, there are some bunkers and trenches in the undergrowth, but in this weather, no, I don't want to be covered in half a ton of muck, so. We'll just make our way up to the memorial, pay our respects, and then be on our way. This is all you pretty much see from the outside. It's kind of hidden from the road. Right guys, so this was the main reason why we came here. They kind of pay homage with it being that time we got D-Day etc 315 troop carrier group so you had the British 10th Airborne first Polish Airborne American 82nd Airborne and they would have gone out there on the troop carrying aircraft and dropped out over enemy territory and here we have a war memorial with obviously your poppy reeves those who didn't make it back there you go spano airfield squadrons of the 30 315th troop carrier group u.s army air forces flew from this site on airborne missions to normandy arnhem the rhine for the liberation of western europe and the defense of freedom erected by the world war ii 315th Troop Carrier Association 1983. A few British guys out there. Here we go. Certainly, only time I ever kneel and take my cap off. On the 18th of September 1944, 582 men of the 10th Battalion, the Parachute Regiment, were flown from this airfield by the 315th Troop Carrier Group, United States Air Force. They parachuted into Holland as part of Operation Market Garden, the bloodbath that was the Battle of Arnhem, and few returned. May you all rest in peace. Now, looking opposite from the junction where we are at the memorial, there is another, looks like a military site there certainly perched up in the woods so we're just going to have a nose at that as well before we make our way back okay so we've made it to a rather large structure i believe it's second world war shutters might have turned around and said it held something i don't know what it's within the vicinity that's for sure it's probably owned now by the forestry commission but it's got the vibes of the Second World War 
and it's got a concrete path so it could have been anything maybe they stored engine parts other pieces who knows it just now looks if it's just got a load of wood it's had to do with someone's had a fire here obviously are they traps for pheasants possibly could be some proper old solid steel there although I'd say it's more modern something to do with probably some sort of truck what do we have here wow an old retro TV set and we come to he says that nearly falling ass over tick because it's pretty slippy still guys we'll certainly be not be going back the way we came this here is well an old piano I had seen other videos with this fella here seen better days that's for sure I'll put the cover back over it before we go that's laying behind it but yeah with us being at a, an old Air Force base and a piano it gives you that Top Gun vibes as you do, you might as well see if they work. Some do. Oh, this is where you get the Jaws playing. Not very well. But yeah, I didn't expect them to work at all. Mm -hmm. It's old, certainly old. Well, that's the best I can do at covering it over. It's pretty much at it, to be honest with you guys. But for anyone else who wants to visit, please respect it and maybe cover it after you finish with it, like we have. That there in front of us, I used to think they were munitions dumps, but I think it's a blast shelter. So it probably would have had like the camouflage pulling over the top of it. People would have anchored down in there with the cover of the woods if ever the place was under attack. That's so I'm second guessing to be honest with you. It could be a munitions dump. Anyway guys, it's about to start hammering it down again. So we're gonna nip back to the car and make our way steadily homeward bounds. Certainly check out Paul's channel. It's been a real pleasure to bring this to you. If you're a lover of anything that's from the Second World War era, maybe this sort of sort of tempts you into looking further yourself. This was, of course, United States Air Force Base, RAF Base Spano, which is sort of boundaries Northamptonshire. It's the arse end of Corby. So you've got Rockingham Race Circuit, and it's about maybe five miles further northeast from there worth a look if you're into that sort of thing if you're not it's not going to tickle your fancy but that's the way it goes thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the movies bye for now, bye for now.